Yeah. Okay, cheers. That's there. So Easter was this past weekend and I wanted to make something special with my son to celebrate the occasion because he's at that age where he wants to be a little more involved with things and do things himself. So I decided to kind of get him a little more involved in my YouTube process and um, that's when I got the idea that we can make homemade gummy bears. So we gotta do apple juice first. Uh -huh. I saw a TikTok video on how to make homemade gummy bears. So I bought all of the ingredients and uh, some Easter modes to give it a try. My son was super excited and ready to help. And we started following the recipe from a random YouTube video. So I wasn't really expecting it to come out like amazing or anything. followed all the instructions as best as we could, but we didn't use a specific recipe. And as a result, the gummy bears was terrible. I'm just say, I'm just say that it was absolutely terrible. It was like, they was flavorless. I think I put too much, I probably put a little too much gelatin in it because I wanted it to be like thick gummy bears, but uh, I probably went a little overboard. So they ain't really come out right. Then I remember that we had some extra chocolate chips laying around and that's when I got the idea that we could melt the chocolate and make some chocolate Easter bunnies. So that's what we did. So we melted the chocolate chips um, in the microwave, obviously. You usually don't do it in the microwave, you'll do it over the stove. But um, my son was getting impatient. <laughs> so this was the best, next best thing. Uh, so after I melted it, we uh, just poured it into the Easter molds. And as you can see, He's more concerned about eating it than pouring it in. But then we he put them in the fridge for a cool. Oh, baby. Baby. Yes, yes, I Oh, you see her? He ain't wasting no time. Make sure you know he popped them out of the molds, and guess what? Everything turned out great, right? We went from terrible gummy bears to some good chocolate chips. I, I personally don't just like chocolate chips, but my son does. I'm glad that the chocolate chips turned out to be good because I know how excited my son was to create the gummy bears. And even though they didn't come out right, I was worried that he would be upset about it. But uh, once he saw that we was gonna make the chocolate chips and those came out good, the overall experience for him was still like a positive. So that was something I was kind of worried about going into it after the gummy bears didn't come all right. I was worried about, you know, letting him down. This little experience taught me that sometimes things don't go right, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the overall experience wasn't worth it. Because the most important thing was that me and my son got to spend time together and we both created a memory that we'll both look back and cherish one day. I hope this video inspired you to go and spend time with your loved ones for the next holiday, whatever that is. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fun content, and happy Easter.